once in a lifetime experience. How many opportunities do you get to go to Cuba? I've always been kind of a storyteller. The most intense 15, 20 minutes at the end of that game that I've ever had in my entire life. We went to Cork, Ireland, and each student was given the task of producing their own short documentary. I mean, we're running onto the field, right next to the players, like sweat dripping. It was exactly like what working for a wire service or a newspaper would have been. To be able to work with John Beale, who's one of the best of the best, uh, was really great. If you're successful in this industry, you will be traveling to places overseas, all over the country, so you're going to have to learn how to manage your time and how to schedule things properly. So I think this was sort of a preparation for that kind of work. It really gives you an experience that you can't learn in the classroom. The classes that I've taken have been critical in my learning, but this was beyond anything that you could have ever gone in a classroom. I worked harder those nine days than I have worked in my life. We just kind of had to be assertive about what we wanted and we kind of had to, you know, get out of our shells a little bit, some of us, and that's what happened for me. I used to be pretty, like, laid back and timid, so this kind of showed me how to be, you know, more of a go-getter as far as, like, getting the right shot, getting everything that I needed to make a good documentary. It's, it's not at any school you can cover Penn State football or a program that's that storied as if you're a professional. Walk to the next classroom and take a class with the former deputy sports editor of the AP. So especially being able to work with Tony, who has such an extensive career as a foreign correspondent, it wasn't just being able to sit in a classroom and say, this is what you would be doing as a foreign correspondent. I was thrown into the middle of a communist country saying, where I don't speak the language, and I was told to go find my story. I came to Penn State because of a friend of mine who had gone through the film program here and he became very successful as a sound designer. I figured coming to Penn State would mean success for me in that field. I know that Penn State gives me opportunities like this that I couldn't get anywhere else. 